Currently, there's much hysteria about passengers carrying liquids on commercial airlines. But did you know that gang members are being employed to store your luggage in the cargo holds of the same plane that you're riding on? Gang specialist and retired L.A. Sheriff Sergeant Richard Valdemar has first-hand experience on this subject. Yeah, I was actually contacted by a news person uh, who wanted me to review some photographs. And this particular case was the Alaskan Airlines flight. This Alaskan Airlines flight was taking off from Seattle, uh, and when it took off, they had a decompression problem. They had to land the plane, and they they uh, they almost you know, you know some serious almost happened. They found that they had uh, lost the door, cargo door, or, or at least it had decompressed. And what had happened is someone had run a uh, luggage ramp, you know, into the side of the plane, and then not reported it. So when when the plane went up to a certain height, the pressure. Uh, blew the, you know, the seal and uh, decompressed the plane. It's real dangerous. Anyway, uh, when I was showing the photographs of the inside of the cargo hole, I see all this graffiti, gang graffiti. Not only is it gang graffiti, but rival gang graffiti, where they've been crossing each other out inside the cargo hole, uh, which is very dangerous. And I, uh, I mentioned to the reporter, I said, you know, I would not only be afraid that these baboons are handling my luggage and fighting with each other in a, in a, you know, luggage compartment, but, you know, they're going to bring a gun, you know, because they're, they're, there's rivals and they're, they're gang members. They're going to bring guns and you're just going to be able to have a shooting right there. On the, and then she told me, well, they actually did find a loaded gun on the tarmac. So I said, how, do you, how did a loaded gun get on the tarmac, you know, the, in the airport? And then we, I found out that these people don't pass through the, the uh, metal detectors like we do as passengers. Because they're airline employees, they were going around the system and uh, <laughs> handling the planes and the luggage, uh, you know, without being checked. And obviously nobody did a background check on them because they would have found this gang history. But beyond the danger of having rival gangs shooting at each other on the tarmac, isn't there a more serious danger of terrorists being employed as baggage handlers? We asked Richard Valdemar if foreign nationals could be working in those supposedly secure areas. I'm sure. I'm sure it's possible that, that some of them are. I don't know what background check they did on them, but uh, obviously it wasn't adequate. And uh, so uh, they could be foreign nationals. And indeed, there are foreign nationals being employed. In an earlier interview with Full Disclosure, we asked U.S. Attorney Deborah Yang about the arrest of 80 illegal foreign nationals who were out of status and who were working in high security positions at L.A. International Airport. There was a gap uh, at the airports and people who had high security badges so did not have to pass through the magnetometers and actually had access to the tarmacs and to the airplanes. Um, and so we took a look at all those individuals to see who was properly there um, and who wasn't. There were some individuals that we found had prior convictions that had never been disclosed to us and so you know those were certainly people you would not want to have access to the airplanes. I see. Now when you said they were out of status, what does that mean? It turned out that some of them were uh, illegally here in this country um, and so therefore shouldn't hold that type of job and had indicated on the application form that they were, uh, you know, uh, uh, U.S. citizens or legal residents when they in fact had not been. It is apparent to full disclosure that there is a tremendous security risk where gang members and foreign nationals are working in the baggage areas of commercial airlines. For some reason, they apparently haven't combined efforts to spread terror in the U.S. Could Muslim extremists use gangs to commit acts of terror, we asked Richard Valdemar? Yeah, well, we already had an incident here in Los Angeles. I think it was here in Santa Monica, where two gang members were arrested who had their own uh, targets picked out. They were going to blow up a synagogue and some other, other things, and these were... Uh, are regular African-American gang members from Los Angeles, but they were uh, sympathetic to the uh, Arab cause. So we, we had that. And uh, some of the uh, terrorists who already have been caught, or I think it was a shoe bomber, had gang ties as well. So there really is, has been a couple of these things. So while airline security is harassing passengers about carrying makeup and toiletries onto the planes, 
It is feasible that a terrorist organization could use a local gang to plant large quantities of high explosives in the cargo hold. Uh, if I was a, you know, a terrorist, that's what I would do. I mean, we have a built-in army, right? And they're willing to do just about anything for the right amount of money or religious loyalty because there's you know, plenty of uh, uh, people being recruited in our prison system uh, into the uh, Islamic faith. Sergeant Valdemar sounded the alarm loud and clear. As passengers, should we be concerned about flying on a commercial airline? Yes, there's a, a major problem with uh, gang members working in the supposedly safe environment of the airport, uh, especially when they're not going through the background that you and I might have to go through just to get on the plane. They're actually handling the plane and the cargo hold, where if I was going to put a bomb, you know, a cargo hold sounds like a good place I might want to put it. And then the other fact that uh, some of the graffiti was drug-oriented. Okay, so they're using drugs, they're gang members, and they're inside your cargo hole. You know, somebody ought to be raising red flags. It's a real security problem. We want to know what you think. Please respond to our survey. Question number one. After hearing the comments of gang specialist Richard Valdemar, are you concerned about what is being loaded into the cargo holds of commercial airliners? Yes or no? Question number two. Should the Transportation Security Agency do complete background checks of all airline employees? Yes or no? Question number three. Do you think the airline security issue is being overly exaggerated and alarming? Please respond to our survey and leave your comments below. Thank you. As you can see, Full Disclosure is not in the business of distorting the news. We're not in the business of trying to convince our viewers, only to inform them. We're a nonprofit educational organization. We provide the platform and the vehicle where you can hear the various perspectives. It's up to you, the viewers, to determine what is right and what is wrong. If you want Full Disclosure to continue to shine the light of truth on important issues that the mainstream media just won't do, then we need your support. There are so many important issues facing our communities, our state, and our nation, and your tax-deductible contribution can help us get the word out to continue informing the public. You are invited to join the Friends of Full Disclosure. Your support will help assure that we can reach more and more people and improve the production quality of our programs. All you have to do is send us the much needed support using PayPal. Just click on the link below and join at whatever level you can afford. Our goal is government accountability. When the people are informed on the issues, then the people in government must do what is right because they know we're watching. Together we can make a difference, but we need your support to continue bringing you the news behind the news. Please contribute what you can. Thank you.